All right, coming up next, guys, I got the G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I know I'm late, but I have a life. I have responsibilities, and I'm doing this for fun. So stay tuned, and we'll check this guy out. All right, guys, we're back. Um, as you can see, windowless packaging. I know how we all feel about it. Uh, most of us aren't happy with it. Um, so we're going to find out if John got robbed or not. This was, where did I get this from? You know what? I don't even remember if this was Amazon or, nope, this was actually Hasbro Pulse. I actually did order this at, off Hasbro Pulse. So hopefully it's good because honestly, I haven't opened it. Um, as you see, just some artwork, pictures of the figure, cartoon stuff, comic, uh, art. Did. <laughs> digital renders because G.I. Joe loves digital renders instead of oh okay so they got the codes on the back and the side and we do see this is number 53 so um yeah, it's not too bad I mean for windowless packaging it's not too bad I mean and at the price point this is considered a deluxe figure so let's see if we get a deluxe figures worth of Sergeant Slaughter in here so let me get this guy open, find out what's actually in it, and then uh, we'll take a look at the figure together. All right, as you can see, John did not get swindled by a fig swapper, thankfully. Um, I did film it, just the actual opening just in case. Um, it's horrible. It's horribly filmed, so I'm not going to add it to here. Maybe. We'll see. I'll have to take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure I filmed it horribly. But as you can see, it's in the box was literally the figure in this thing. Um, it's just the box, G.I. Joe. It's pretty much the insert folded, you know, the insert from the old package is folded up. You know, if you kind of picture it in the old box, there's, there it is, there's a symbol. So, um, here's this trunk they're talking about. Um, and it's just cardboard. I mean, I suppose... For background pictures, if you, you know, for something out of focus, this would be good. And I apologize if the focus is horrible. But yeah, I mean, it's alright. It, it, you know, background. I don't know if it's useful for anybody else. Got its little codes there. Um, and it is taped, so John is going to grab his handy dandy razor blade. And we're going to pop it open. Let's see what kind of figures we got in there. All right, one bag. Got the GI Joe and Cobra symbols on it. Nothing crazy there. Inside we have. Oh, there's his. I don't know. You guys are gonna tell me what this is called. Can't remember what this is called. There's his dog tags. And then in here, I'm assuming, if I remember right from a review, there's a gun in there. Um, oh, there's one more piece. I have to look. There's something in here. We'll, we'll take a look at it. Oh, that's his glasses. And, yeah, whatever. So, that's what's in the box so far. So, um, let me get those out of the cardboard because you guys don't want to watch me cutting cardboard anymore because it's kind of lame. Uh, let me get back. I'll get him out of these cardboard coffin and see what's in the packaging and we'll take a look All right, as you can see I have a mess of accessories here I just kind of dumped them out just to see what we got going on So of course we got everybody's favorite minis brand Mini action figure for your action figure So this just it it's the same as any of the other mini brands you've seen before and I'm pretty sure most of us have used many brands for photography, background stuff. The hat. Just got to have the hat. There you go. See? There you go. Got a, you got hands. You got claw hands. Trigger fingers. Two of them. Got to have pointers. Nothing special there. And I'm not a gun expert, but... It's pretty detailed. Got some brown paint in there. Nothing, no, nothing too crazy. So, 
but it works for him. Got the scope for it here. Clip. Um, I don't know. Somebody's going to have to tell me what this is called. I can't remember, but... Eh, in the comments, tell me what it is. I'm not sure. So, he's got his dog tags. And, obviously, he's got to have the shades. So, look at that. So, all right, let me uh, clean this up a bit, and then I think we'll take a better look at him. We're not going to go through too much articulation. It's Everyone's seen his articulation. It's the same as any other G.I. Joe. So, I mean, there's literally nothing different. Drop-down hips, double knees, double elbows, uh, weight, uh, what is that, torso crunch, uh, waist twist, uh, butterfly shoulders. Yeah, he's pretty much the same as any other one. So, um, we'll get... Uh, bleh, excuse me. We'll come back. We'll take a look at the paint, some of the deco, and how he looks up close. All right, we're back to look at Sergeant Slaughter a little bit up close, just the figure. Um, when I do the final thoughts and stuff, we'll do some poses. We'll see him with some of his gear. But before I get to the next part, I am an idiot. This is called a baton. Don't know why the heck that I just could not think of it before, but it's a baton. So anyways, Sergeant Slaughter. Paint apps, green, camouflage. I mean, nothing crazy and outlandish. It's just the black tank. Head sculpt's pretty good. Kind of looks like them. Mine is, luckily, I have no paint flaws. Um, for all you haters out there, no pinless elbows, but, you know, whatever. It's... And I have not heated mine up. Mine's been sitting. So, I mean, he's a little stiff in some spots. But, but yeah, the, the articulation is this. Oops, see, mine clicks. I don't know if that's supposed to do, but it's a little rough around the waist. But, yeah, he's got all the usual articulation. He can't look up. That's about it. So, if you, have him, if you want him doing that look down the nose pose... Yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, looks down kind of normal. Butterflies. Not much of a butterfly in the back, because if you see it's just a little bit there. There's barely anything there, so he's just going to get a little bit of back. That main movement's going to be, and even frontwards, it's not. It's just a little bit of movement. Drop down hips. So, like, yeah, it's, you know, usual double jointed knees. Elbows. For the spot for his backpack that he does not have. So, yeah. And yeah, I'm just trying different ways to review figures. So, eventually I'll settle on one way. Until we, you know, until I... Whatever w way works for me. Most of these are overviews. I, I don't go deep into, you know, doing everything everybody else does. I don't want to sit there, you, you know, holding up every single, you know... Hey, check out his hand that we've all seen, Trigger Fingers. So, you know, I'm just like, we've all seen it. I mean, for the main stuff, I might do it for, like, the, the cool stuff like this, you know. Here's your mini toys, G.I. Joe. Hats. So, you know, and eventually, I do have other cameras. I may try different angles. Do two do two two camera reviews, you know, stuff like that, maybe different angles. Um, definitely going to show off some poses as I learn how to pose a little better because we all know John sucks at that. But anyways, back to the review. Um, Sergeant Slaughter, he's a decent deluxe figure, similar to Crockmaster in size. Um, definitely bigger than the Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter's, but I don't have any of them, so I can't really compare it. And as you see... Do have Carrick back here if I don't spill them all. So I mean, aside from the stand, he's probably that's probably their version of deluxe. So there you go. So, but you know, good paint. Everything's clean on mine. Um, I don't have any issues with it. He's all the articulation works. Uh, you know, it's not too bad, but uh, now that we've looked them over, I'm going to come back. I'm going to pose them up a little bit, get them up on my little spinny thing, and we'll give some final thoughts. 
All right, back. Uh, final thoughts? I like him. He's a good figure. He hits the nostalgia button. Uh, he's got the 80s Sergeant Slaughter look. Uh, size, you know, so he's scaled, you know, he's bigger than a regular G.I. Joe, so where he should be. Um, paint amps are pretty, I mean, they're pretty basic. There's nothing special about it. He's got some camel pants and a black uh, wife beater, so, I mean, that's it. There's no backpack. There's one gun, bunch of hands, you know, so that's kind of disappointing on the lack of accessories, so, especially for a deluxe price point. Um, but yeah. The good mostly balances out the bad, which, of course, is the price, the lack of accessories, and the fact you can get more from Valiverse than this guy, and since that seems to be what everybody's comparing him to. So, either way, he's going to be front and center in my Serpentor and Mindbender display. I like him. So, uh, anyways, tell me what you guys think. Uh, comments are always open. I do try to read them. I'm busy, so I mean, I might not answer in five seconds, you know, like some guys do. But anyways, if you are new to this channel, which most of you should be, I just started, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever it is you guys do. Um, you know, coming up, I got all kinds of stuff. I'm not looking, I'm not looking to be the greatest, you know, YouTuber in the world. I'm not looking to be... Anything more than a guy who loves his collection, enjoys showing it off, talking about it, and, you know, calling out people when I need to, or telling you how great it is. So, anyways, that's it. I'm out. I'll catch you on the next one.